Hi there and welcome to this super simple browser automation guide in which we'll show you how easy it is to automate your web browser even if you don't know how to code. And for this guide you are only going to need three things. UI vision for carrying out browser automation and in most cases also Cameleo and VPN or a proxy so that your device and IP address don't get banned so you can continue carrying out automation. In this specific example, we're going to show you how to collect data from a website. We're going to show you how to collect the titles of the top ranking posts on a specific search, just as an example to show you the potential of browser automation. So what we're going to do first is we're going to press on new profile. Here you basically select how you want your browser window to look, what kind of device you want it to look like. This is very, very helpful if you're doing some kind of stuff that is more likely to be tracked down as suspicious. I'm gonna press on uh, system language, we're gonna put in, like we can put in whatever you want, we're just gonna keep it simple for this. Browser product, I'm gonna go for Chrome, I'm gonna put in browser version we desire, and we press on search. And here we have a lot of examples of our specific search. We're gonna choose just this one for this example. And by the way, after you finish using these, you can uh, you, you can save them and you can reuse them over and over again. And here you have some uh, more options. You have the great thing about Camileo is that if you press on something and you don't know what it means, you will be told in this little window here. But as for, you know, we're just gonna keep it simple here. We're not really gonna change anything. Everything's already automatically kind of selected as we like it. Uh, as far as profile proxy settings go, this is crucial part of this. You need to have a VPN or you need to have a proxy. Uh, it's, you know, Camilo does a very good job at changing your browser fingerprint, but you still need to change the IP address. This, this is where this comes in. If you don't currently use any VPN services or proxies, you can actually use our Luminati uh, proxies, which have 35 million of IP addresses from around 195 countries on this planet. And when you're finished with that, you press on next. We're gonna press launch browser. So the thing we're gonna use for automation is called UI Vision. This tool is absolutely amazing. You don't need coding experience. You just, you know, just install it on your Chrome or Firefox and you can basically even automate stuff without typing anything in. So once you have UI Vision installed, the first thing we're going to do is gonna, we're going to go to the left side of the dashboard and we're going to click on one of the demos and then we're going to press on Play Macro. That will run a test code and at least at the time you're watching this, this is very important to do because otherwise there's some kind of a bug that prevents your code from working. We're gonna put in Hulu because we're trying to out automate the collection of data from the top ranking posts about Hulu. So we have this. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put in a command called star text. And the target will be, we're gonna press, first of all, we're gonna go to the website. So we're gonna have to put in how to watch Hulu. So we're gonna press on select here, beside the target, and we're gonna press on the header. And just like that, you have the header. Saved. The value part will be exclamation mark, CCV, line. We're gonna press add. We're now gonna add a CCV, save. And the target will be the name. You can call this whatever you want. So now, if, so now if you press on play macro and go to CCV, you will see a new file created with the first uh, header of your desired search. So now we're gonna show you how to automate all the titles on that page. And for that, firstly, go back to start text and in the target area, press select and select the second header. You should now see the difference between the headers now you should see the difference between headers as far as code goes. And in our case, it's the third number from the right. So what we did next is press the small arrow beside play macro. We pressed on the play loop and copied the little piece of code beside. So we're gonna paste that code in. 
on that third uh, number and now if you press play loop do it three times you should have yes because that was the first one that was saved and then you have these three ones so you actually collected three titles so in this quick guide you learn how easy it is to automate web browsers you know this is obviously a very simple example but you can get far more advanced with the help of ui vision forums and guides like this and if you found this helpful make sure to leave a like a comment and we are looking forward to seeing you on the next video